Hey guys, welcome to Michelle's Weekly Minute. Now today I wanted to update you on some information that just recently came out last week about the forbearance agreement. Every week I've been trying to keep you updated on everything that's going on that could be affecting you if you've entered into a forbearance on your current mortgage. Now last week I talked about how you can act, the lenders now are doing a loan modification for folks um, that have entered into forbearance. And if you did not do a loan modification when you initially entered into forbearance, you need to reach out to your lender to see when a, a loan modification agreement will be put together for you. Um, but last week they also announced that originally they were gonna require 12 on-time payments after you came out of forbearance uh, before you could actually refinance your mortgage or get a new mortgage, but they've changed that. Now it's only three months. So if you entered into a forbearance with your lender for three months, once you come out of forbearance, let's say you entered into forbearance for April, May, and June, once you come out of that for July, you need to make three on-time payments, July, August, and September. And then come October, you could actually refinance your mortgage or get a new mortgage. So that was the news that came out last week is that they went from 12 months to three months so I wanted to make sure that you had that information now also what I've been brought to, what's been brought to my attention by a couple of my lenders and I actually uh, reached out to a couple more just to see if this was happening if they'd seen this uh, even though in the CARES Act it says that you are to be reported as on time if you're in forbearance a lot of lenders are putting on people's credit reports that the consumer is in a forbearance agreement on their mortgage which is lowering people's credit scores. Now, it, when you come out of the forbearance, that message that's on your credit file should be go away. And when it does go away, your credit scores will come back up and your lender should have reported you as paid on time during that time. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention. And if you wanna verify that that's going on with your current lender, remember you can go weekly to get free copies of your credit reports to www.annual creditreport.com and that will actually be able to tell you if your lender has done that to your credit files. Um, so I hope this information has been helpful. If you have any questions about the videos I've posted over the last few weeks or any of the videos I post, feel free to reach out to me and I'd love to help. Have a great day.